Is this the ultimate generative AI tool? I mean seriously, this AI tool does it all. Text to image, covered. Text to video, check. Text to music, yup it does that too. Text to sound effects, you guessed it. But what about text to deep fake? Well, yes, here's where it gets interesting. Text to movie, yup. Not only will this AI tool generate all of the above, it will also generate a whole 12 second video clip complete with sound effects and music. Meet the new text to movie, man. These AI tools are getting insane. Let's dive right in. The tool is called Full Journey. Looks like our journey isn't so mid anymore. Okay, all jokes aside. Anyways, this thing is insane. Now you don't have to go to multiple different websites anymore. Your journey stops here. Hee hee, okay, I'll stop with the journey puns. But seriously, let's check out some of these generations. Maybe this can be our final journey. Okay, okay, sorry, I just had to. It's actually our beginning journey. Okay, that was the last one, I promise. But really check these generations out. First, we will need to join the Discord. Once you join the Discord, you'll be greeted with this welcome screen. Click on read the rules of the server. Here are the rules, it's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, be respectful, no harassment, spamming, etc. No nudity or porn, illegal material, do not try to prompt to remove the clothes off pictures, etc. No hateful content, satire is allowed, etc. Now, we need to finish a few other steps before we can get started. Click here. We will need to agree to the rules. We already went over there so scroll down and click I have read and agree to the rules. Click submit. Now we have access to the discord and can start creating content. But first, let's go over the commands together. They are constantly updating the commands so this is the section you will want to check if you are a frequent user. Let's start with the video commands. Here is a list of the video commands. You can always use forward help for on the fly help. Use forward slash video to create a video based on a prompt just like Pika Labs or Runway ML. It will be two to three seconds long with no audio. Next we have forward slash batch video. This is like forward slash video but creating multiple variations with one prompt. Forward slash raw batch video is like the batch command but with more movement at the expense of visual fidelity. Here is the new feature that most of you are here for. Forward slash movie. This will create a 12 second AI video complete with sound. And last but not least for the video commands is forward slash deep fake. This command combines the provided image and audio to create a realistic video. I mainly wanted to make this video about the text to movie feature, although this really is a Swiss army knife for generative AI and all in one tool. And their other tools like image and audio are amazing as well, so I'll just showcase them all to really show the full potential of full journey. So let's check out the image commands. Forward slash make generates a 2x2 image grid based on your prompt. Forward slash describe allows you to upload an image and generate a prompt based on that image. Look at it like reverse engineering to help you better understand prompting and what the bot sees. Forward slash blend allows you to combine two images. We have image weights, image manipulations, some generation flags like dash wide will give you a 16 by 9 ratio image. Dash tile will generate a repeating pattern. They also have generative fill commands such as forward slash fill both which will expand your image both vertically and horizontally by 256 pixels. Here are the emoji interactions. Clicking on this symbol will use the forward slash very command which will create variations of that image. This image will transform your image into a GIF and this emoji will delete that content. Wow, so many options with only one bot. Right now it's currently free to use but I'm sure they will offer some premium plans in the future. Moving on, let's see the audio commands. Forward slash speak generates an AI audio from a prompt and forward slash music generates an instrumental based on your text prompt. For the speak command, you can use these dash parameters for voice options such as dash Tyson will generate a speech sounding like Mike Tyson. That's pretty cool. I am going to have to check that out. Now that we went over the commands, let's check out some generations. I'll start with the image section first, then the sound effects, speech, music, then video. Okay, that's not too bad. You can see the prompts used and which users generated it. Here's an animated GIF. You can get these by clicking on the popcorn icon. So it looks like it'll work on other people's generations too. Just like I randomly clicked on the popcorn icon from this alien image, then it output an animated GIF. Next, let's check out the sound effects room. 
This was your sound loud bustling busy city at night. Your sound your sound pushing heavy mobile friction. Your sound a man slowly walking on a creaky floor. Your sound a woman. Interesting. Okay, let's move on from sound effects and head over to speech. As you can see, we can choose map there some difficulty. Left to right, it's hard, and right to left, it's easy. Looks like that speech used the dash radio parameter. Hey, race one with the parameter dash Freeman. The inhabitants welcome the team, a community united in peace through their devotion to God and each other. Okay, that voice was soft. Here's one using Bruce. When the isolation began, we faced fear, uncertainty, and despair. But amidst the darkness, we found strength in our faith in God. It was our rock. That voice sounded pretty good. I hear this generated voice a lot on social media. The voices aren't bad at all. However, let's move on to music. Acoustic guitar played in a folk music style, in the style of Bob Hurd, done in 4 4 time signature, music played in a church setting. Lo fi jazz. Interesting, this prompt is simply song, let's see how it sounds. Okay, so not too bad what I've seen so far, especially being a one-stop shop for generative AI. Now, let's see the video section. I was hoping to get video generations first, but everyone is mainly here for the movie generation. So here is sample of the 12 second movie clips. Now here is a video generation, just like Pika Labs and Runway ML. It's your 3 to 4 second animation without any sound. Let's explore more samples. Okay, those generations are pretty cool. I'm going to see what I can come up with. If you follow me, you know that I always use a cyborg in my generations, so for this I'll use forward slash movie. Now you'll see this plus two more option. If you click that, you'll be able to choose your music and negative prompt. So for my prompt, I'll use cyborg attacking a city. I'll click on negative prompt and use ugly. Then I'll click the plus one more option to add a custom music prompt and I'll use cyberpunk. This takes a while. I'm not sure how long this took, but I ended up listening to a few songs, so I know it was probably about five to six minutes or longer.
From images to music, animations to full-fledged 12-second movie clips with sound, this AI tool has delivered on its promise. It's like the Swiss Army knife of generative AI, a virtual playground for anyone looking to explore and create. Think about it, just a few clicks, a bit of typing, some imagination, boom. You've got yourself a cyberpunk cyborg attacking a city, complete with custom music. It's like having your own movie studio in the palm of your hands. And it's free, for now. So what's the verdict? Is this the ultimate generative AI tool? I'll leave that for you to decide. But from what we've explored together today, it's pretty darn close. Now, get out there, join that Discord, agree to those rules, remember, be nice, and start creating. The possibilities are endless, and the future is now. And hey, if you stumble upon something extraordinary, feel free to share it with me. Let's keep this journey going and see where the world of AI takes us next. Until next time, keep exploring, keep creating, and never stop having fun. This is AI Controversy, signing off.